Hey, NJ, Route22.com here with our next <clears throat> supermarket roundup. We have a couple extra bonuses this week, so stay tuned. I'll try and make it quick, all right? We got this in the, in the pack today. Unclaimed freight. I, I wouldn't touch them with a 10-foot pole. It's a big... Uh, uh, I wouldn't trust it. They're always, there's always this big liquidation, and I don't know. It's garbage. Don't do it. Kings. Again, overpriced. We only shop there because it's convenient sometimes. Um, they do have some sort of half price deal on. Uh, sorry for the light. I'm doing it during, during it nighttime. Half price, 15, 14 bucks a pound for strip steak. Keep that in mind. Nothing else worth talking about this week. We shop at Bishop's here in the White House because they're local and they're small business. Uh, nothing worth talking about this week. They have good prepared food and a good butcher. We recommend it if you're in a pinch for a meal. And we're gonna talk about shop right here now. Something going on with the lobsters. Third week in a row it's on sale for $5.99. Maybe they're having trouble moving them. I don't know. And finally the uh, London Broil again is back down to the super low price. $1.67 a pound is it's unbeatable. Um, I would avoid pretty much any corn that's uh, that's at the supermarket. There's only really one that we found that's non-GMO, and that's uh, Donaldson Farms in Hackettstown. Uh, they have that at Wegmans, by the way. Uh, say no to Heinz ketchup, high fructose corn syrup. It's not good for you. These wholesome pantry snacks like pistachios, they're on sale this week, 20% off. Something interesting I've noticed in ShopRite this week, um, they're putting a lot more limitations on it. You see here a limit four per variety and then like with watermelon it's only one. Why? Um, I think they're doing that because small little bodegas stock up on this stuff to sell at their store. So they limit, they limit how many people can buy. That's a theory I have. They say no to sodas and other stupid fake drinks. What else do we have this week? I have a lot of markings in here. You know that uh, strip steak they had at King's? It was, even though it was Angus, which is a better grade, they have uh, just ordinary USDA uh, strip steak for nine bucks a pound. Four dollars a pound cheaper, five. And also the Pat Lafrida burgers on, this week are on sale. Those are a big hit. And they also have Angus uh, ground beef, which is a phenomenal price at $2.99 a pound. Uh, I always scratch off the uh, baked the baked goods, uh, breads. No, just don't do it. Here's a good deal on Nathan's Franks, even though they're filled with nitrates. Buck ninety nine a pack of uh, I think eight eight uh, hot dogs. That's a good deal. And I always wonder this: why why is sour cream always so cheap? They even have it cheaper at the at uh, Wegmans this week. Their brand. It's one of the cheapest things you can get, pennies. And what else, I, I always knock off the junk, ice cream, all this other stuff. And you gotta watch out for this. If cottage cheese is a good thing to eat, but Breakstones includes like sugary sweets with it. That, that's, you're defeating the purpose at that point. And here's another thing I'm really curious about. It's these brand names. Who buys into this? You got your TGF Fridays, right? And then you have Panera, bread, soup. You know it's outsourced uh, right down here. Outsourced to some kitchen. They just stick their name on it, right? Oh, and what I find interesting here is ShopRite has the best fried chicken we've ever made. It's uh, no antibiotics, cage-free, trans-fat-free. I guess they're, they've improved their formula. We'll see. But something interesting here I wanted to point out as well is that whenever you see something organic, it's a six ounce package instead of eight. Like the no normal cheese is eight ounce and then organic is a little bit more money but also at the same time less product. So it's a lot more money per ounce when you think about it. That's how they get you. And uh, it seems like the Wholesome Pantry has some new, uh, new cheeses as well. Um, there's Wholesome Pantry and Wholesome print Pantry Organic. Uh, again, that's eight ounces for four dollars. Here's six ounces for five. You do the math and it comes out to be like 30% or 
or 40 percent more per ounce uh, no to the junk what else I, I have a, a bonus thing in, in uh, the I have a Wegmans thing to look at this week they had some baby pouches on sale organic uh, sprout that's apparently pretty good and I think that's it for shop right this week oh yeah here's something interesting here's a social uh, awareness message built into the into the ad here you know for Colgate for instance it says join us turn us turn off the faucet when brushing see that turn off the faucet don't tell me what to do with my water I pay for it Jeez Louise conservation we net we, one week it's flooding the next week we have to conserve water we never run out of water like one place on planet earth where is that South Africa running out of water because they mismanaged that whole country and over here we have some vitamins I say no to nature's truth because I had bad results Na uh, nature made has been pretty good and the ShopRite brand believe it or not is pretty good and I think that's it for ShopRite this week and we have a little bonus so we have a Wegmans. They have an interesting flyer. They package their flyer or their catalog as seven meals under three bucks a serving. And that certainly is a good deal. I wouldn't recommend any of the meals they're suggesting because they all have high carb rates, but that's fine. You can still buy the stuff cheap. Here's their 80% uh, ground beef is $2.49 a pound. But you gotta buy six freaking pounds, so you better uh, make it and then freeze the uh, leftovers. And also, Wegmans always has a good uh, deal on their shredded cheese. It's around the same price as the ShopRite brand. It's probably made by the same people, too. I can only guess, but uh, what else did I mark off here? There's the Wegmans sour cream for $1.39. Um, what else do we got? Wegmans always, their family pack truly is a good deal. Uh, it's like Shoppers Club prices. It, they usually, you know, this one saves 47% off their usual price for a smaller pack. It always makes sense to buy the family pack. We also like their pork tenderloins. They're delicious and the pork shoulder as well is very good. These are, Wegmans is one of our favorite places to get meat consistently. Um, they don't have Pat Lafrida though like ShopRite. And uh, we avoid the, them. That, that's not a good snack for a kid in my opinion. Give them peanut butter and bananas. But the bread, hmm. Uh, we enjoyed this uh, Wegmans sparkling water. It's a, it's a pretty good deal. It's around the same price as the LaCroix. It's good. And we know they're, po they're pizzas. If I ate pizza, man, I would eat pizza at uh, Wegmans all the time. Really cheap. Uh, I'm sure it's popular for people with kids. Three bucks, you throw a pizza in. But I wouldn't recommend that kind of meal plan. Um, they have an okay price on avocados. Uh, what else did I mark off in here? We really like the value of the Wegmans uh, kitchen bags. They're um, before they ban them, you better buy them. They're they're about the same quality as uh, Glad or Hefty, and, and they're a lot cheaper. And what else? Also, their paper towels, of course. They they're up there, the best value, seriously. And same with their bath tissue. And they usually have a coupon, monthly coupon in these books. I'll show you at the end. And I think that's it for Wegmans. I mean, they have a nice clean book. This is so easy to use, nothing outrageous. But they have the coupons you see here for the sparkling water, $2 off the paper towels and toilet paper. And that's it. That's it for this week. Have a nice weekend.